just got back from Japan like two days ago and the jet lag has been hitting me a lot harder than I thought it would. I will probably need another one of these right after I film this. Mother's Day is this weekend and <laughs> who told me it was a good idea to plan to host both sides of our family within a week from landing from Japan. I don't know. I was feeling, I was feeling very ambitious, but it was such an amazing trip. I cannot wait for you guys to see all of the vlogs. I am slowly working my way there and editing, but we got back, unpacked and did all that stuff. I have a Japan haul to film. I gotta get a lot of stuff done, but first comes first. And that is my mama. I love giving gifts. It is my love language. First things first, I wanna give a quick shout out to MCM who has gifted my mother some beautiful pieces for me to give to her for Mother's Day. Historically, my mom hasn't ever really been that much of a handbag person. I think not until I really started to get into handbags and then I would gift her handbags because again, I love giving gifts to my mom. I've definitely gifted my mom like a good amount of bags, but I don't think I've ever given her like a white bag and so this one is from mcm and it is a new style it is this beautiful east west shoulder bag and i feel like mcm historically has always been very prominent with their logos but this one is so low key so it just has a very subtle flap at the top nice beautiful lining and then it has a zip enclosure in case you know your mom likes to be super secure like mine does. And then we also have an additional strap in case she wants to wear a crossbody. I think shoulder bags are always perfect for spring and summer. And so this is going to be perfect for my mom on top of the fragrances that she's getting, on top of the picture frame that I got her, the candles, all, she's getting a basket. I literally need to buy a basket and wrap everything up for her for this weekend. So this is the first piece from MCM. Then we also have a matching little wallet. My mom, what is she using right now? I feel like she's using like a really old and big wallet, but she has a cute little matching one to go with the bag. And I really like these wallets because they can actually fit a lot. Mom still carries like a bunch of coins and stuff. So there is a generous zip pouch in here and then slots for cards and i think it's just a cute little matching set to give her so in case anyone is interested in any of these pieces these also come in a lot of different colors i do have a code that will get you 10 percent off your first order so be sure to use the code in case anyone is interested in gifting their mom a little MCM for Mother's Day. I will have it linked down below as well as these exact pieces. It is just so simple and subtle and I think it's really, really pretty. There's also a loop here so that you can tuck this part of the strap in. It's fully adjustable so you can wear it longer or shorter. Thank you so much to MCM for gifting my mom a beautiful bag and little wallet for Mother's Day. She's going to love it. Where am I gonna buy a big basket? Probably like home goods, like an Easter basket. Mother's Day. But yeah, lots of goodies for my mom. Now I'm going to put this aside. Mark and I were legit awake at like 3 a.m. contemplating whether or not to make noodles. Our jet lag has been so off. I'm trying to fight taking a nap right now. Um, the last time I came back from Asia was probably 2019 and I was falling asleep at like 7 a.m. and sleeping until like 3 p.m. It was really bad. I'm a little bit better this time, but the adjustment is still killer. I need to get some emails and then I need to clean up a bit before I can properly function. Like I can't really work well with a mess around me. So see you guys in a bit. And I definitely need another coffee. I should have kept you close. I should have held you tighter because in my book you were my favorite chapter. And when we left each other, damn, what was I thinking? Thought there was no answer. So blinded to believe it. Now you're probably thousands of miles away. And it's been years since I've seen your smiling face. I know what you're thinking. You're like, wow, Alyssa, you really did make that second cup of coffee. Wrong, it's a new day. This is my first coffee of the day. It's two days later. Wait, I still need to take my vitamins. I have been crashing like midday. Yesterday, I accidentally took a nap 
between 3 and 7 p.m. That's <laughs> woke up around 7, got re-energized, started editing again, and then cleaned up a good bit. So that's one thing I was able to really get done. I did finish the Tokyo vlog and started editing the Osaka vlog. I also completed my two-week itinerary post for the website, so that's now up on my blog. So in case anyone was curious about our game plan for Japan, that is now live on the website. Since this is like a bonus video outside of my regular posting schedule, because by the time you watch this, the Tokyo vlog should be up. This week I do need to film my hauls and stuff, but I did want to show you guys a couple of things in this video, mainly the snacks that I brought. So we're going to include that in here. As you guys watch the Japan vlogs, I kind of do hauls throughout the trip, like little mini hauls of what I got that day. So these are all things that Marco and I literally grabbed at the airport because there was so much. Obviously I needed to get some sake, so just a nice box. We opened it, tastes very good and nice and smooth. I also got these Hello Kitty chocolates for me. Um, I'm gonna share that with my mom. Obviously had to get Tokyo banana. I needed to show you guys this in this video because this is gonna be gone within like the next day or two. Like we're literally already halfway through. So this is one of the things that you for sure wanna grab at the airport before you board your flight. I also grabbed the cookies that are also Tokyo banana. Haven't opened this yet. Kind of saving this for this weekend for Mother's Day. Marco and I grabbed a bunch of like little snacks and cookies. I kind of already opened them. So I don't have like the main packaging. I did make like these cute little giveaway bags. So these are for all of my friends that I got souvenirs for. So I kind of distributed. It's literally like a goodie bag from a birthday party. So in here, I have this matcha Kit Kat. I have this matcha rolled cookie. I'll probably end up making matcha later today because I did buy some matcha powder from the trip. I just don't know where it is right now. Strawberry cheesecake Kit Kat. There's tons of Kit Kat at the airport. Then I have another one of these cookies. These are just from 7-Eleven. Then these like jelly things. I honestly, my game plan at the airport was just see what everyone else is grabbing and then grab it too. So I have this and then this one is a Tokyo banana Kit Kat. And then I have a sake one also. I don't know where I put it. That's essentially the snacks that I grabbed at the airport that is being distributed among my friends. And then obviously they have like little gifts and keychains. I'm seeing Cassie tomorrow. No, in like two days. So I have her Pasalubong. And then obviously I got my Pasalubong for you guys. So I will be sending something out from just like a random person in the comments and Hopefully you will enjoy my little gift from Japan. But yeah, jet lag has been a challenge. I'm really hoping that today I don't need to take a nap in the afternoon. I really want to get a lot of editing done and I also need to film a couple of videos before the weekend. So it's really just time to rally. But the last two days, I think I gave myself like the last two to three days to just have a bit of time in my schedule or flexibility in my schedule to rest. I think like when you just first travel to a place, you're so excited, you're running on adrenaline and obviously you're on a time crunch. You're not there forever. So you wanna get as much done as possible. I always give myself a few days after I get back from a trip to just reorganize, reset. I had a call like with my therapist like two days after we got back. It was such a good trip. And I really hope that you guys enjoy the vlogs once you start watching it. So yeah, that's just my little intro, I guess, to the vlogs that are coming up. Uh, definitely need to do a Target run later. I don't know if I'll include that, because I do need to finish up packing up my mom's gifts. And then, yeah, just like a little bonus mini vlog. Wanted to share the snacks before they all went away. I'll actually like have one of these Tokyo bananas because I don't know what I want to do for breakfast. You would think that Marco and I are tired of Japanese food since getting back. Granted, we did have a burger the next day after we got back from the trip, but nope, still love Japanese food. This is the Tokyo banana. It's just like a little sponge cake and then there is a banana inside. So obviously I wanted to have this before 
it's like not that great anymore. It's a banana inside. Nice creamy banana. Definitely a great thing to have for breakfast. So highly recommend. I saw people grabbing stacks of that. Also, I'm letting all of my friends know if they ever want to go to Japan to let me know and I am booking a trip back. My stories from the trip will be saved in my profile. So in case anyone wants to go back to a specific location, it should be there. The only time I wasn't really tagging places is if, is if I couldn't find it on the map or if it was random and it wasn't really in our itinerary. So it's not one of the places that I recommend you go to. Some days Marco and I legit just got so tired and we needed to find something super close to us or like whatever was just the most convenient. So just a little disclaimer for the footage that is coming up. Please tell me you guys see Wade right now. We've just been spending lots of time together. I've missed this little boy so much. Okay, I need to get some work done. I'll probably see you guys at Target and then we're gonna wrap up this mini vlog and hopefully you guys will all enjoy the Japan vlogs. See you later. Target. I opted for this big like gift bag for my mom. I think I can fit everything in here like the bag and the candle and all that stuff in this one. I'm just gonna wrap it up and yeah put it all in there because I'm sure my mom's getting a bunch of other things for my siblings so she can throw it all in this bag for the party. The Tokyo vlog just went live, part one. So if you haven't watched already, that's already on my channel. I did better today with only a 45 minute nap instead of yesterday's accidental four hour nap. So we're making progress, but yeah, I hope that I can adjust by the end of the week and be ready for the party. So anyways, that's it for me. Hopefully you all enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh.